What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Sorry I haven't uploaded in the past two days. I have been uploading daily and tried to upload as much as possible, but honestly I just had nothing to upload in the past two days and I didn't want to rush out a video just for the sake of it. In this video guys as well, let me know down below. I'm going to talk a little bit differently. This is how I usually just normally talk. In all my videos that I've been doing now, I've tried to always sound like louder and clearer and more entertaining for you guys, but I thought I'm just going to talk normal and maybe it sounds better. I don't know. So you guys let me know down below. But anyway, we're going to get into the video. But first of all, I'm going to give a shout out to the the first five people who found the hidden llama in my last video shout out to you guys nice work finding the hidden llama i'm gonna put you guys up on the screen right now same thing in today's video the first five people to find the hidden llama in this video will get a shout out in the next video so just comment down below where the hidden llama is and the first five people will get a shout out and with that being said guys let's get right into it all right guys so a couple of days ago i posted about the fire king being under the ice at polar peak talking about how that might be the secret snowfall skin that's what a lot of people thought and what the rumor was and that skin has been leaked now i'll put it up on the screen so you can see what it looks like basically the skin on the left is the first stage and then the skin on the right is the final stage so with this free skin with the battle pass you actually get different stages this time i'm not really a big fan of the first like free skins that we got in the battle pass the ones that you got to unlock by doing the challenges i don't think they look too good but i think this is definitely the best one out of them all by far and it looks pretty weird because you'd think like from the right side to the left side the skin on the right would be the first stage but it's actually not that's the last stage and you can see on that side if you look at it from left to right you can see each stage on this guy's body he's got like lava glowing up on him the He's got like lava glowing up on him on the very right. You can see it the most. So this guy might not be a fire king like everyone thought he was going to be, but he's still a fire type of guy. And it looks like there's lava on him. I'm calling it right now, guys. There's going to be lava in season eight, definitely. From the dark bomber skin when the cube was around, she had a volcano on a t-shirt with a llama breathing fire. And it's all been leading up to this. And there's definitely going to be volcanoes and lava in season eight. And if it's not, I'll be really surprised. But I'm really guessing that there's going to be in season eight. With this skin coming out in two days towards the end of season seven. Also, guys, a new Cabal starter pack will be out tonight at 12 o'clock midnight, wherever you live. I'm pretty sure that's when it will come out. I'm pretty sure everyone in Australia got it at 12 at midnight today. So that's why you might be a bit confused when people are posting about it. Thinking, why is it not on your store? It's because... The people in Australia have it first. I'm pretty sure that's what it is anyway. So by the time this video is up, if it's after 12 at midnight for me, this skin should come out. But anyway, definitely my favorite starter pack. The Summit Striker is my favorite one. But now this one's coming out. This is my new favorite one. So these are definitely getting better. I really like this one. I was going to buy this skin as well. And I found out it was a starter pack. So even bigger bonus for me. Because I'm, now I'm just going to get it anyway. Also guys, we are going to be talking about the snow that's melting in the Fortnite map. I am just going on a little bit here. So I'm sorry about that. That I've not got to it just yet. But there's quite a lot of things to talk about. We've got some more leaks emotes coming out. We've got Marshmallow skin coming out. Because Marshmallow is now partnered up with Fortnite, which is really good. And there's going to be a Marshmallow skin coming to Fortnite. There's also going to be some challenges to unlock some stuff. Probably a free emote. The NFL skins are coming back in a few days, guys. So if you haven't already got them, you can pick those up. And also, founders who bought the founders edition of Fortnite Save the World, which I did. And you got those two skins, the female and the male skin. We're getting a free pickaxe and a glider, which is pretty nice. I, I really like this glider, but I wasn't going to buy it. But I'm just so glad that we're going to get it for free now. So I'm really happy about that. I'm excited to get this pickaxe. And yeah, anyway, guys, let's get right back to the point of this video. The snow is now melting in the Fortnite map. So in today's update, ton of weapons got vaulted. Zombies got removed from the game. We didn't get any kind of cutscene. Anything happened. So they just disappeared just like that. Gone. Which is pretty weird because they got brought to the map in a live event and then they just disappeared just like that. It would have been nice if they'd done something with it with the storyline, but oh well. So if you were thinking how the snow is going to get removed from the map, the guy under Polar Peak, the Snowfall skin, is melting it right now as we speak. If you look at the Fortnite map, the snow is actually melting right now from the top right corner, leading all the way down to the bottom left corner, last layer. And yeah, this is what it first looked like when it started melting. And then this is what it looked like two hours after. So this is just melting nonstop, guys. And it'll probably finish melting in two days when the Snowfall skin gets released into the game. So it fits into the timeline with that because he's the skin that's actually melting this snow. And then once it's all melted, he'll be available to unlock. And it's just timed in perfectly with his release. And then we're going to carry on the storyline from there. Basically, we're going to see what happens next. I don't know if Paul Pete will get melted. Maybe Greasy Grove could come back this season. Who knows? I hope it does come back at some point. It's a really good place. And yeah, it's just crazy, guys. The snow is melting right now. Really glad zombies were gone. They did get really annoying towards the end. I'm just really glad they're gone now and the map is going back to normal without it being snow. I just want the good old map back. No more zombies. And something to happen with the bottom left of the map. Hopefully Happy Hamlet, Frosty Flights and Polar Peak go. Because honestly, the bottom left of the map is just where I never go now in Fortnite. I really don't like that area. I'll be happy with Flush Factory back. I definitely want Greasy Grove back. So hopefully they do something with that there. They probably will. I don't think they'll keep the big chunk of ice at polar peak there surely that's gonna go but anyway guys the snow is melting absolutely insane 
Can't wait to see what happens next. Let me know what you think about this down below, guys. And as always, I'll see you next time. Peace.